the stiff leg or stiff-legged deadlift, what is it, how do you perform it correctly, and why or where might you see it in your training? Let's start with what it is. Given the name stiff leg deadlift, it's not surprising that it's going to look quite a bit like a regular deadlift, except the knee is not going to be flexed nearly as much as it would be in a regular deadlift. So this lift takes out most of the quad involvement. The shins are left vertical or as vertical as they can be at the start of this movement. So in summary, it's going to look quite a bit like a regular deadlift, but with a much straighter knee to begin. How to perform it? It's fairly straightforward. We're going to take the same five step setup that we use for the deadlift, except we're going to skip step three. So you may recall the five step setup. If you don't, we'll link to a video that describes this. But the steps are stance. Take your shins one inch away from the bar with a relatively narrow stance. Step two, grip, bend at the hips to bend down and grab the bar just outside the legs. Step three, pay attention to this one specifically. You're going to bend your knees or drop your hips slightly until your shins touch the bar. Step four, squeeze your chest up to set your back in rigid extension. And then step five, pull. Where the difference comes in for the stiff leg deadlift is that you don't perform step three. So the steps become step one, stance, that's still the same. Step two, grip, that is still the same. Step three, don't bring your shins to the bar. Leave your shins vertical. Leave them right where they are so you've still got that nice one inch gap between you and the bar. And then step four, squeeze your chest up real hard to set your back in extension. And then step five, pull. And the bar really isn't gonna come into contact with your legs until it's past the knees. The fact that the shins are left vertical, or as vertical as they can be, means that the knee is not bent as much, means that your hamstrings are in a more elongated position than they would be in a regular deadlift, which means it's harder to set the back in a stiff leg deadlift than it is in a regular deadlift, which means this gives us one of the benefits of a stiff leg deadlift. It gives you real good practice at setting the back for the regular deadlift as well, because it's harder to do in this movement. So this will carry over very nicely. That, that newly increased skill of setting the back can carry over very nicely to the regular deadlift. Where would you see this in your program? Because there is less quad involvement, this is an excellent lighter or really a medium pulling day movement. So it allows you to get some more pulling training, some more pulling volume, but it's gonna be at a lighter weight than your regular deadlift. So doing a stiff leg deadlift or something along the lines of sets of five on a lighter or a medium pulling day works very well. Specifically, you would use this in intermediate or advanced programming. You would not use it in novice programming because as a novice, you can still add weight to the deadlift every single time you perform the lift. So if your progress has slowed to that point where you are an intermediate or an advanced lifter, this can be a beneficial tool to use in your training. As always, we hope this helps you get stronger and live better.